Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV. And hopefully this is going to go on the original channel. And I hope. First off, I'm gonna... <laughs> anyway, today I wanna to talk about ascension. Um, I wanna talk about how you can move forward. Um, what I'm doing. As you all saw the meltdown I had the other day. <laughs> and uh, the, one of the most painful days of my life. And it brings me to my knees every time. And so I started to do a lot of work on myself. And remember we talked about coming back into the moment using the elastic band. And so to any of you out there that I'm hoping this technique is going to help. Um, if you want to come back into the moment, you click the elastic band. Um, now we're all going through a lot at the moment and we've got this situation with Trump and, you know, and it's very, very easy to slip back into depression or fear or not be able to cope very well. And so I'm telling you that it's going to be okay. I don't know why and I don't know how, but I hope. <laughs> But all you can do is get as strong as possible because you're going to be needed. Look, I put it on my hand. Stay present. That, it says it on my arm here. Stay present. Stay present. So to remind me to come back into the moment and I've been meditating, continuously meditating, bringing myself back, bringing myself back. My temper got the, wor the worst to me the other day, as you know. And... Um, I've been looking at that a lot. Um, but as I say, we're human. We're human. And unfortunately, I couldn't not shout. I felt that something I was in was not right, that I'd been treated unfairly. And so my temper went. And so the thing is that I used to go on the stage. I used to go on the stage and I used to do the breakdowns on the stage instead of in front of other people but that's been taken away now there's really no way you know to work and to to do your work properly except on moving on tv i suppose and so it's very hard for me and it's probably very hard for a lot of people because we can't do our work properly and to me to do my work properly is to do the breakdowns on the stage that was my logo but I want to ascend and I want to get past that. So I'm working now on doing that. And so I'm doing a lot of meditation. I'm listening again to the power of now. And I'm listening to conversations with God. Okay, so I want to talk about that because I have a big bone of contention with that book. And um, don't get me wrong, I love it. In a lot of ways, it was one of my first books that got me into spirituality um it was i'd say one of my first books i remember coloring in yellow all the bits that really meant something to me like taking the cake and dividing it up we we have the power to do whatever we want with our world to make our world a better place we can take the cake and divide it up and hopefully that's nasara and Desara. but what gets to me is that god said that god is everything and it gets very dangerous as far as I'm concerned when that is, is in a book or um, when people are reading it, considering what we're going through, because in a way, in a way, it's giving justification to all the bad things that people are doing to kids and to innocents because it's OK to do it because God is here to create itself uh, to let you do whatever. To me, that isn't love. And so I can't buy into it and I will not buy into it. It does say you will have to deal with the consequences, however. But it's said in a way where it just doesn't sit with me. And so I don't want to read that book. Power of Now, on the other hand, is again, um, I do struggle with a bone of contention with, say you're in a situation where you're literally being tortured. You know, let's say when Jesus was put on the cross, now, I believe he was a master hypnotist. 
And so when they put him on the cross, he was able to go into another vibration to rise above. That's what I believe anyway. I don't know if it's true, but I believe it. Um, that he was able to rise above the pain and go into another vibration. But we aren't like that. I mean, okay, I've sat with binaurals and I've sat with bad toothache and pain. I've gone through it and I've got through the toothache. But I'm talking about if you've been tortured or something. Come on, guys. How can you stay in the now? How can you flick an elastic band? That's why a lot of people in the resistance, in the war, they used to have a cyanide tablet. It sounds very depressing, but they would take it rather than tell it saying who, rather than giving into the torture because they were human and they, they may not have been able to have taken anymore. They had a cyanide tablet ready and they would take that rather than betraying the family and the friends um, rather than suffering anymore. So again, I'm just saying you know, because we're looking at everything, we're looking into everything at the moment. So the power of now, to me, yes, I can buy it like 90%, but what if you're in a situation where you literally can't get out of it? And so you, what do you do? And so some people can ascend past torture. I don't think that would be me or you, <laughs> or maybe, I don't know. But maybe get back to me and say what you feel. But to me, I think Eckhart Tolle explains it, that you're not really in spirit if you feel the torture. But come on. I mean, if you look at Victor Engel, um, he was, um, was it Victor Engel? Victor, I can't remember his name. But it'll come for me. He was in a concentration camp and he was able to see Victor Frankl, that's it. He was in a concentration camp and he was able to see beyond and be, he was able to carry on and see the beauty in the trees and, and the love and the colors beyond the cruelty that was going on. He was able to see beyond and he got past it. He was young and he was able to get past it. But I can't say, you know, when a young woman was being raped because she was pretty and she would, you know, go beyond it and go into shock like a child when they've been abused. You can't stay in the now. You go into another vibration or you go into shock. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's a big discussion, yeah? And if you're watching this and you're ascending and waking up, then it's a good question to ask. I don't believe that ordinary humans could do that. Do you? I don't. I mean, I've been through situations where I felt like even last week, when I felt like, God, you know, I can't do this anymore. I've got no one, absolutely no one, no one, no one, no one. It's just me and the cats and the situation with the marriages where I'm, I'm separated and that's how I want it to be. I'm free at the moment to do what I feel is right for me. And um, doing a lot of research into lots of stuff, you know, um, I'm not going to go into it. Of, but um, anyway, uh, all I'm saying is um, I'm free because I chose it. However, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to go through hell because I love that person, even though we're not together. And I don't think we will be together that way. Um, I just don't see it because I feel different. Um, but I can feel a lot of um, sadness and grief because I miss him, uh, you know, I miss the person I spent 27 years of my life with. I miss him. He's a good human being. I miss him. I miss my, I miss people that I can't see anymore. And so I, it dawned on me, that was it. You're on your own. You're completely on your own. No one's coming here. And the person who was going to come and take me out didn't turn out. Also, something happened. And, and it was like, I can't go anywhere. I've got nowhere to go, not, no one to go to. And then I heard about Trump and I just burst out laughing when I heard that. Because it's like the universe saying to me, come on, I, I'm not taking this on. To me, this is not true. This is part of the plan, but I'm not taking this on. I'm not prepared to suffer any more than I'm suffering. So I put a hold to it. And then I picked up this program of ascension that I'm doing now to get to the best I can get. 
to get past 5, 5D, to get into infinity D, apparently, higher and higher and higher, so that I'm pure, as pure as I can get, and then my life and everyone who I'm meant to be with will turn up just like that, and things will just work out. Those on that vibration will, you know, things will just work out. So that's what I'm saying is, that's how I feel today. It's been hard today again, but then luckily um, I was able to watch some things and meditate and, and this program I'm doing is pretty good. It's amazing um, with a coach. And I'm not going to talk about it too much. It's personal, but very, very personal. And as I say, it's about me and my ascension so that I can become the best I can become. I'm looking forward to all these things disappearing from my body and my neck and my shoulders and getting young, younger and younger all the time. I'm looking forward to the amazing life that's in front of me. I'm looking forward to uh, the broadcast that's going to come where you're all going to find out the truth and then we're going to have to hold those people. I'm looking forward to just Sarah and Sarah. I'm looking forward to when people will invite me to talk about my ascension um, that happened in the therapeutic community, which was only in the beginning. And this is huge now. This is, the, you know, losing the family, cutting me off, everyone, the, the wheelchair, and all these different, different dark nights of the soul. This is the biggest now. You can't get any bigger now because our world is in so much danger. So now I'm on the path the real path <laughs> and now i'm going to ascend and i'm going to meditate and i'm going to let my soul go to where it needs to go without other people just me and the person I, the coach the program i'm working with the people i'll be working with on this program and um, confidentially confidentially in a confident i don't know how to say confidentially so I don't have to project anymore onto Facebook of the ego that's breaking down, that's dying. And those people that I love, if they're meant to come back, they'll be back. If they're watching, they, knew, they know exactly who they are. All right? One in particular. So anyway, um, th that's it really. I, I don't, you know, I just wanted to say that when you're ready, the teacher appears and the teacher has appeared. And I hope this is going to maybe take moving on TV in a new direction. I will still put out any truth I can find. And anyone who comes to me, if it's what I feel is right, it will go out and moving on TV to help wake people up. However, I'm on a path now. And I've been doing it now for three days and I've had my ups and downs, but I had a lot of inner peace already yesterday. Just me on my own with those two stupid cats trying to get them to not want to eat all the time, uh, getting them out of the kitchen. It's really interesting when I've stayed at Janie's, these two cats never ate at night because Martin came to care of them and then he went home. So they were fine. They got through the night and they were fine. But because I'm here, it, it's like an addiction. Okay, before I end, I'm going to say that. We are addicted to things. We're addicted to food, drugs, drink, people, um, relationships, money, work, everything. We are addicts. I think every single one of us is an addict. I am an addict. And the minute I get, got over my food addiction, it became the stage addiction. And then it became a relationship and then a friendship. And then I am an addict. Whoops. <laughs> and then there's your phone. <laughs> I am an addict, and now I'm declaring to the universe that I do want to be addicted to inner peace and love and compassion and gentleness, and I want to find it in here. And I know I can, and it might take six months, it might take a year. I, I, you know, I will work day and night, day and night, because that's as far as I'm concerned, that's what I'm doing now. I have no choice. I have no choice, because I went too far down, and I want to do this alone at the moment uh, with the people that feel that they love me and they're on the same vibration that's different but I, um, if we're not on the same vibration then we can't be together and that's how it's going to be so i love you and i hope this helps and i'm going to talk about this more and more 
in the next couple of weeks or at, at, if anybody else is on this vibration of ascending then i love you it's painful you basically have to detoxify from everything that you feel you're addicted to or isn't working in the vibration that you are in in order to let it come back in a good vibration you know i'm thinking of good vibrations yeah I like the song and we are in the age of aquarius so people will be coming together your tribe your real tribe will come together and you will help other people ascend as you do this work and they will come back to you and that's beautiful and when they come back it will be in a different vibration if you're meant to be with those people they will come back to you in a beautiful vibration of love and everything will be easy there won't be any fights anymore and then you know that's it so take care love you lots don't worry about president trump and uh, he's <laughs> watch baba birth as you make me laugh i think she's on here telling you what she was doing in the trump house or listen to the cold she's giving you yeah <laughs> he's fine he's just been protected for the elections all right there is no covid you can't get it unless you're very low if your immune system is very low then boost your immunity i got my um i got my herbal remedy today my main mix astrolasia ginger and echinacea gets rid of every single cold and gave it to the husband get when we were living together everything that and vitamin c and and, and just um, a very low mucus diet gluten-free dairy-free as much as possible low sugar and you know you're detoxifying as well so you know don't deny yourself some gluten-free vegan chocolate cake for god's sake <laughs> you know you can only do your best all right i love you and i hope i feel like this tomorrow you feel pretty good at the moment um i know i'm going in the right direction take care bye-bye